The Magic did not make it last year. They're right back this year, and they have their hands full. And Darrell Armstrong's going to have to have a big game with Iverson. Anderson throws it ahead to Hardaway. And even though he didn't actually tip it, Geiger kicks it out. Iverson left wide open, puts it in. And Allen Iverson, his first field goal. One point lead for the Magic. Austin, nice feet inside to Hardaway. Pretty passing from both centers. Iverson outlasted him. Important he has been to this team. Oh, no. Blocking foul called on Armstrong. Larry Brown wants the basket to count, and it will. Here and is headed to the basket. Very difficult to stop. He's 0 for 4 from the field and has not even been close. Everything looks like wide range. Iverson kicks it out. Hughes back to two pointer, and Larry Hughes knocks it down. Larry Brown says he's come a long way, but still has a long way to go to reach his full potential. I think he has to learn what's a good shot um, because he can get any shot. I, I believe sometimes he settles for it the three-pointer too much without putting any pressure on the defense. I think he has to learn when to score and when to get other people involved. Um, sometimes his, his competitiveness um, takes away other people. Um, and just the fact that he is such a threat to score makes it easier for everybody else, and he has to, he has to understand that. Has Hardaway on a mound. Makes the move. The runner in the lane is good. And Iverson now with nine points. Uh, Iverson's eyes lit up when he saw Hardaway. <laughs> or rarely. Yeah, you can see that, but here he just gets a half a step on Hardaway. Pretty good D by Hardaway. Went straight up to try to bother the shot. And there you see, as we mentioned, shortest ever. Just getting by Tiny Archibald, who held that title for a long time. 1973, I was the Eric Snow, if you will, the, the other guy that had to give him the ball. If he was allowed to palm the ball then, he would have averaged 60. Iverson, meanwhile, knocks down his second in a row. And again, much of Doliak's minutes in that fourth quarter. Shot clock is turned off. Hey! Iverson, oh, to Larry Hughes! What a pass to the rookie, finishes it off. A slow start for Philadelphia, but they finish on a 9-2 run. Iverson getting hotter as the first quarter wore down. Plus the 57% shooting, nice feet inside to Hardaway. In traffic, tough shot from Penny Hardaway. Trying to get their feet wet, trying to get used to things, but we see some straight lineups already in this game. Iverson in and out and in again. Allen Iverson now at 13. Well, Allen Iverson just keeps thinking attack, attack. That was a pick and roll situation over on that side, and every time the Magic see that, they want to try to trap Iverson. And Gabriel, one of the bright young executives in the league, is Iverson knocks down another. Four point Philly lead. Iverson. Pass inside to Geiger. How he got through all those hands. And then Geiger able to put it in. Well, there's Allen Iverson working to get open as Penny Hardaway trying to deny him the ball. Allen Iverson on the move. You see everybody looking at him. And there is Matt Geiger for the easy one as the Sixers now lead by six. Harper is on Iverson. Long three. Puts it in. Allen Iverson from way downtown. Outlaw drives the long pass deflected by Iverson. And it's still Orlando ball, 3.6 remaining. Iverson pulled away momentarily by Hardaway. Eric Snow along three, way off the mark. Had to shoot his shot clock winding down. Lynch on a feed to Iverson. Another offensive rebound. Darrell Armstrong start off quickly. Nice feed to Geiger. Four transition defense by the Magic. Away with Snow on him. Iverson's guarding Darrell Armstrong. Hardaway, tough shot, puts it in. Beautiful move from Penny Hardaway. The rebound, Ratliff only played five minutes in the first half. Iverson fires away and puts it in. Iverson now with 22. Uh, everybody has gotten a look at playing Allen Iverson, but first this is Penny Hardaway getting into the lane, easily getting by Eric Snow. Hardaway chasing Iverson all over the place. If the game started out, Nick Anderson guarding him. Hardaway defending Iverson. Iverson makes his move, flips it up there. Ratliff on a follow won't go. Has it. Hughes knocked it away. Iverson ahead of the pack. And Iverson puts it in. Up number four. When you don't have point guard responsibilities, you don't have to worry about getting out outlet passes. You can just get out and run. And when you have the speed and quickness of Iverson, it puts unbelievable pressure on the defense uh, away from him. Iverson tiptoes along the baseline. Hughes underneath. Nice move from Larry Hughes. 
And the rookie puts the Sixers up by three. Iverson splits the defenders. Geiger got in the way. They turn it over. Armstrong ahead of the pack. Armstrong makes it a one-point game. By the way, it worked as much as possible on defense with the way he's playing offense. Iverson, Geiger on the follow. Matt Geiger slams it home. Geiger looking for Iverson, releasing. Iverson flips it up. Won't go. And that will end the third quarter. Magic put a slight in into the halftime lead. As Iverson getting some help. Good double team pressure by the Magic. And they get the steal leading to the easy one in the outlet. And look at this. Dow Armstrong with some emphasis to keep the Sixers, or should keep the Magic close in this one. But Philadelphia responding. The Sixers on the road with a one-point lead. We'll return to Orlando after these messages and a word from your local station. Iverson at three. That's good. Iverson answers right back in the second half. Game tied at 78. Iverson steps back, gets some room, and knocks it down. 29 for Allen Iverson. Going against Geiger this time. That's good defense by Armstrong, feeding him to the spot. But Iverson's quick stop on a dime move and getting in the air, nothing Armstrong could do to recover. Team point, 7 of 12 shooting, but has struggled shooting. Iverson, pretty feet inside, and Geiger takes advantage. Iverson and Geiger working well. This move, back pass from Anderson. No foul call, plenty of contact. Also, bad pass and no interception. Geiger down the other end, basket hanging. Flips it up and puts it Geiger off balance. And it's a six-point lead again. <laughs> and now Chuck Daly needs to talk it over. Some broken plays at both ends. And Matt Geiger takes what you would call a bad shot in that position. But he knocks it down. Well, unbelievable here as Darrell Armstrong thought he had a man wide open. Snow stepping in the pass lane. And all Matt Geiger to do is catch this, number one. But then, unbelievable that he even took it as the... 76ers know that's not supposed to happen. Didn't follow it, and Iverson able to pick it up. Underneath the snow, and a foul. Eric Snow puts it in, and it's a 10 point game of 155 to play. Largest lead of the game for Philadelphia. Well, the defense of Philadelphia continues to get the job done. Open floor, Allen Iverson, very tough to deal with as Eric Snow kept running that right lane, and the Sixers know. You know what it's like there. Well, you know, Philadelphia is a very tough town, but you know, with the Flyers getting knocked out of the playoffs quickly as Ann Iverson looks on, Eagles. Their first playoff game in eight years finishes with a big road win. The Sixer defense does it. 104 to 90 is the final. So Philadelphia takes a 1-0 lead in the best of five series. Now stay tuned for the second game of our triple header. T-Wolves and the Spurs at the Alamo Dome, then the Rockets and the Lakers. For Matt Kukas and Lisa Malowski, this is Mike Breen saying so long from Orlando. This has been a presentation of the NBA on NBC.